Combat Warriors added a new update. They added new animations and a lot of bug fixes. But what I'm really excited about is the new game modes right here. As you can see, they have Capture the Flag, Conquest, Pause, and a bunch of other stuff. So we're about to check all of these out. Okay, so first is Conquest. I actually haven't checked anything out because I really wanted it to be a fresh experience for the both of us. So it just looks like two teams and we just like capture a flag. I don't know why I walk right into a freaking. I don't know why I walk right into the fire. Stupid. So there's two teams and there's three points on the map, and you just try to stay in between there to get the most points for your team. The thing. Oh god, let me get that. Let me get this too. Wait, I'm on blue team, right? Yes. They're not fighting? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dumb. This actually kind of changes combat ways forever because, you know, you don't have to go around just... Hold on, let me get this guy real quick. This kind of changes combat warriors forever because you don't have to just play the normal game mode, just go around killing people on the beach here or there. You just you got different game modes. You can hop in, and you can do different things. You can play with friends now, which is a lot of fun. Honestly, we're getting our butt handed to us, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the next game. Okay, next is capture the flag. And I mean, if you've never heard about these game modes before, I'm gonna give you like a little explanation. So uh, it's kind of basically as it seems. The flag is right there at the top where I just threw my grenade. And essentially you take the flag and you take it back to your home base. Oh God, can I kill him? Yep, good go, boom, get down. There we go. Oh, and for you guys wondering why I'm using uh, uh, this great sword instead of, <laughs> instead of my sickle is because um, I actually just wanted to try out uh, heavy weapons for a bit. Because as you guys know, I am a, a sickle main. Hold on, let's get this guy right here. Do it. Come back here. I mean, I guess the only thing is that you can switch teams, which I kind of don't like, but I mean, it is what it is to be honest. I honestly don't think that 100 players in this lobby is kind of ideal because it's already like crazy hectic. Like 50 players, maybe 40, but 100 in the game mode is kind of OD, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if I can get to the top. I didn't turn my FPS on locker on, so I, I can't super jump right now. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> They're not gonna let us get to the flag. Okay, on to the next game. Okay, so this next game mode is Team Deathmatch. I mean, again, you can switch teams, which I kind of don't like, but it is what it is. I mean, you just go around, you smack people with your sword, try to get as many kills as possible. Seems like the time limit is like 30 minutes. Oh, they got him. Even though it's Team Deathmatch, everybody's just running around, just chilling. But since everybody is on blue team, let me go ahead and switch to red team real quick. Access denied. Uh, wait, it would be unbalanced. Wait, but there's only blue team in the middle, so where's red team? Uh, let me see if I can actually find, like, where red team is. Before we do that, I want you guys to do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and that like button. We're so close to a thousand subs. And if you want to and you're already subscribed, you can go ahead and join my Discord. I have an exclusive role that's going to expire when I hit a thousand subs. So don't miss out. Okay, so I ran around for a little bit, and I actually haven't really seen any, like, too many people from red team. It's like 10, 10 of them and like freaking 40 of us. So like you can see like all of those blips down there and they're like, there's a couple like red team fighting, but it really isn't a bunch. Like we definitely outnumber them. Yeah, I don't know if that's a bug or whatnot. Let's try to get this guy right here. Hold on. Come back, bro. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, uh, kill right here. There we go, got that. Honestly, if you really wanted to get like a bunch of credits, like probably Team Deathmatch or Conquest would probably be the best ones because you just chuck a grenade or whatnot, or like do what this guy's doing, put down gasoline and just let everybody burn. Let's get this guy right here. Aw, uh, took my kill. But yeah, I mean, that's it for Team Deathmatch. Let's go on to the next one. All right, so this next one is Koth, a king of the hill. So if you don't know about this, it's basically uh, the goal <laughs> is to be the king. So there's this thing in the middle and you basically want to capture it or be in here as as long as possible. The longer you're in there, the more points you get. 
and the more points you get, you uh, you get on the leaderboard. If you get on the leaderboard, you, you basically win. This probably might be one of the games I play the most. Oh god. Simply because like I used to play Minecraft a lot and let's get this guy right here. Minecraft factions. Denied. Oh no. <laughs> Better scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelet tiger. I don't know why I messed with the chainsaw uh, player. Yeah, I used to play Minecraft Factions a lot, and Koth was like uh, something that was in here. I don't know, just get this guy. No, bro, I hate people that do that, bro. I could also just chuck a grenade right here and just blow them all up. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Honestly, I really like this this update. This gives me a ton of ideas for like new content. But since I want to get credits fast, I'll probably spend most of my time probably in Conquest or uh, Team Deathmatch. And I'll probably play King of the Hill when I got free time. Overall, this is a pretty solid update. If you guys want me to play any game mode specifically, just let me know. And if you want to watch me attempt the hardest challenge in Combat Warriors, click here.